Hello everybody, welcome back to Money Alex. Today we are visiting some friends of mine so that we can help answer all the questions that you guys have about El Salvador. So come with me, let's meet two people that you probably know already. It's gonna be a surprise. Let's see if you guess who's here. Yeah. How are you? Good. How are you, Francesco? This was totally unplanned and un unexpected. Absolutely unexpected from anybody. I'm here with Ryan and Jessica from Two People in Paradise. Right. I'm sure you Hello. know them already. <laughs> and today they're going to help us answering some questions. So, yeah, how sure. are you guys? Good. Good. How, are you? how are you doing? So, first of all, let's start from the why. Okay. Oh, quickly. Yeah, sure. Let's do this quickly. Here, let's come because out. I want to get right, yeah. into more practical things. But sure. of course, how did you guys end up in El Salvador and why? Uh. Well, uh, there were two main things. Uh, in one way, we were escaping something, and in another way, we were going towards something yeah. that we saw as inspiring and uplifting. So which one do you want, or both? Let's do a quick one of both. Okay, right. yeah. So as you've mentioned on our channel, um, in Canada, we had seen things take a turn for the worse in terms of democracy, liberty, freedom and whatnot, mm -hmm. we're among the people whose bank accounts were affected last year. Yeah. Uh, so we felt like uh, we just couldn't be secure in Canada anymore, what with our government and really our peers turning against us. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started looking, peeking over the fence to see if the grass was greener, so to speak. Uh, initially, we thought Mexico, because right? yeah. all the Canadians, thousands of Canadians have already gone to Mexico. Uh, but uh, sort of last minute, we thought about, well, maybe El Salvador, yeah, because El Salvador it. has the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So this is the part that we're going towards something. Um, Bitcoin is really the antidote to all the problems that we were experiencing in Canada, especially with the bank accounts being frozen. We wanted to be somewhere where that could never happen again. Let's start from location. Okay, we are on the beach. How did you guys get here? Why? How did you find your house? Uh, sure. It's a long story, okay, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, really, for finding our first place, which isn't this place, but our first apartment, that was all Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, we had like no plan. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Did you go on like realtor.com or zillow.com and find no. all the listing? No, no, it wasn't no. as easy. No. Right? What yeah. happened was is that we essentially landed. We had an Airbnb booked for one week. Yeah. And while he was at work, my job, because I didn't have a job at the time, was essentially to find us living, yeah. living arrangements. So mm -hmm. I went on Facebook, uh, the El Salvador Facebook group thing to see if I could find anything bunch of like just random signs on the street for you mm -hmm. going around essentially what happened was that when I posted something on Facebook Enzo the landlord who we were renting from in Saramar he, in Saramar he messaged me back and said hey I have a place for if you want to go and check it out it was I was like sure like that evening mm -hmm. uh, he was like I'll even come pick you up and for like yeah. people who just landed from Canada, we were a bit sus on that. We were like, yeah, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Why is he so <laughs> eager to help? Because back yeah. home, when someone's really eager to help you, it's because they want to get there's something from you. Yeah. 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 yeah, so essentially that's what happened there. And like I said, we fell in love with the place. You saw the, I don't know if any of your viewers have seen the tour of that, but yeah. uh, if not, it's on our YouTube channel, not the yeah. <laughs> is that it's actually a very interesting video because some houses here have very interesting designs, yeah. all outdoors, so I definitely recommend to go and check it out. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. It was cool because the, uh, the, the, um, the original place that we had, it didn't have any walls. Yeah. We, we, we yeah. went from living with, you know, <laughs> Only walls. the bedroom had a locking door. Yeah. Everything else was just open to the world. You could just walk out into the jungle, right mm -hmm. out of the kitchen, into the yeah. jungle. Yeah. It essentially like rained and we, we arrived in the rainy season. Yeah. So there was a leak in the roof. So the living room, the living room yeah. used to get really, really wet, but yeah. yeah. Other than that, it was fine. Yeah. But yeah, essentially like we got here with no plan no idea where we were going to be after our one week at the Airbnb mm -hmm. and Jessica found us a place on the third day uh, which is an apartment which actually was really lucky because ever since we got into that apartment there's been a waiting list for it so like it's hard to get that apartment now mm -hmm. uh, so really right from the beginning we felt like things were working out things were kind of blessed yeah. uh, we're really happy with it yeah, yeah. but how, as far as how we got here uh, mm -hmm. We'll introduce you to our dog, Asic. Mm -hmm. uh, he wandered into the apartment because no walls, yeah. right? He was sick, hungry. He begged us for help through his eyes and we couldn't say no. 
no pets at that apartment, so we were kind of forced to make a move, mm -hmm. and that's how we ended up here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And how did you find this place then? We. How did we find this place? Um. It's it's like a lot of things here where you like you just put out a message, yeah. you send it out into the world, and then someone comes back and says, yeah. "Here's somebody to talk to." I think Nikki and James yeah. because we had that's right. We yeah. had a. We originally set our hearts on a place over in where you guys are, like, okay. yeah. or in that area, and things didn't match up quite well, so we met with Nikki and James, they told us about Claudia, and Claudia, you know, she came around, she's like, oh, it's this place and this place, and she yeah. gave us a bunch of different avenues, but... It's really amazing how quickly things happen here if you just put the intention out yeah. into the world. Like if you just send a message to somebody who then sends a message to somebody, to somebody, to somebody, next thing you know, you've got four people calling you with a solution to your problem. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's one of the most- Th There is a lot of uh, serendipity here yeah. that yes. happens, yes. just happens. Yeah. And the other thing is that everything is done via word of mouth, yeah. connection, networking, and boots on the ground. And the best place that I found to, to help with this is the Facebook group, yes. the Expats yeah. Facebook group. Now, at the same time, I'm building another group for Bitcoiners specifically. Mm -hmm. So check it out and join it. We'll put the link down below in the description box. Now, I have another question for you. Sure. Okay. How do you guys move around El Salvador? Right here, right we have here. our scooter. This scooter here, it was just, it was $1,000. So oh. very affordable, very accessible. New. Yeah, brand yeah. new. Yeah, okay. and when no you bad. when you move to a new country, you don't really want to sink a lot of money into things like cars right away, right? Yeah. You kind of want to have your resources, mm -hmm. and so we decide let's get something simple and affordable, and it has been just perfect for us. Yeah, uh, it gets us. It's not really good for getting to the city, but along to the beach, to the grocery stores perfect. and whatnot, friends' houses, it does the job. It's yeah. great. We love it. It seems to be very sturdy and reliable. So yeah. it has yeah. a trunk and everything, so yeah. you can just. What, yeah. what we don't fit in our book bags when we're going yeah. to go get groceries, we just stick it in there. Yeah. It's a little bit preoccupied with empty bags right now. But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it takes premium gas. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, did you buy it at a dealership that specializes in this kind of vehicles? Did yeah. you get insurance? How, how does that yeah, uh, yeah, insurance isn't a thing for this kind of vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, it's because, you know, it's really a glorified bicycle with a motor on it, right? Um, yeah. And uh, we went to a mall, actually. Yeah. Uh, it was like the, the shoe city. store, the clothing store, the scooter store. Okay. And uh, we went through all the paperwork. We had to get a tax number, an NIT. T. We had to do that in advance. Uh, very simple process. Uh, and then once all the paperwork was sorted out, we literally wheeled it through the mall uh, out into the parkade and just drove away. Wow. Yeah. Drove it home. <laughs> yeah. That sounds exciting. It was exciting, actually, because yeah. it, um, it was a bit of freedom for us. It was freedom. Finally, right. <laughs> you didn't have to rely anymore on public transportation yes. or Ubers. Yeah. Which yeah. we did do in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, how, is, how was that? Uh, was. Well, people had warned us, right? Yeah, and it was it was nothing like I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't go by myself, but I feel like it would be safe enough to go yeah. by yourself yeah. on the yeah the, the, the bus the, the bus the school buses, yeah the school bus yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just crowded it's really yeah. cramped yeah that's yeah and and it's not totally like uh, say efficient. It's not the fastest way to get around. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, yeah, we thought we need something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I still don't know how this huge American school bus, because that's what they use here. Yeah. How do they move through Puerto or to this little road sometime here? It's just, yeah. it's just amazes me every time I yeah. see them driving around here. What I love, though, is the way they paint them. Yes, that's you cool. like the paint and the bright lights and the, and the, the subwoofers. Bop and yeah. tunes. Like <laughs> the, you have a party on the transit system here. Uh, they'll, sometimes they have loud music going. There's all kinds of eccentric art and stickers inside. It's, it's actually an experience. Yep. Interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. So, guys, do you mind going inside? Yeah. Sure, yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah, 100%. You guys let me know. Let's go. Okay, inside. let's go. This, this is the guy who has made all of this possible, right here. Say hi. Say hi. His name is Asik, and he came into our lives about in November, a week before yeah. adopting Bitcoin. Yeah. For those who don't know, an ASIC is a type of Bitcoin mining machine. 
uh, and so. we decided, why not? Why not name him after that? <laughs> yeah. He's a Bitcoin dog, yeah. and yeah. like I said, he's the one that pretty much brought you to this yeah. place. Yeah. Brought us here because he we were compelled looking that change. Yeah, we were, yeah. We but were, I mean, it's great. Really, we were quite attached to that apartment, yeah. and I think that's because like you go to a foreign country, nothing is familiar, you don't know anybody. The first place you land, you just get attached right away. And really, this apartment was not really intended for long term. No. It's for surfers to come down, stay for a month or two. But um, we did not want to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, but once we got here, we felt much better about everything. It's really, this is more suitable for long term yeah. <laughs> accommodations. Yeah. Having walls is nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still remember the first time I walked in here even from outside, and I told you, this looks like a house uh, from Florida. Florida. Yeah, 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 I remember you telling yeah. us that. That's right, yeah. Yeah, we've never been, but uh, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> they build houses like this, even the same kind of colors, doors, uh, yeah, closets, yeah. doors, uh, kitchen. I love how the windows surround the entire place. Yeah. Um, we got the screens installed. Our landlord, Claudia, was kind enough to get the screens installed for us. Um, we don't like to use the AC, it's a lot of money very expensive so with all these windows and the screens there's plenty of airflow it's perfect yeah it's pretty good yeah, yeah. What, what's your favorite feature of this house the pool the pool the pool's <laughs> pretty cool i don't know i like the yeah. uh the stove to be honest it's yeah it's big it's wide it's like the, our last apartment it was just one of those teeny tiny yeah which you can buy at the dollar store yeah here. you can buy the dollar store here like... <laughs> yeah. okay so guys now we're in the kitchen so let's talk about food groceries shopping and let's start from What's the thing that you miss the most from Canada that you're having a hard time finding something yeah. comparable here? Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah, we are Canadians. We, we found it at Price, was it Price, Price Smart? Smart, yeah. Price Smart, but I'm not entirely it's... convinced that. <laughs> so we actually buy that one. Yeah. I don't know if it's as good as the one you guys have in Canada, but yeah. it works for us, but we are not maple syrup. Uh, yeah. Connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, we do miss it though. And the other thing that's very different here is the cheese. Yeah. Uh, the cheese here is very soft, uh, different kind of flavor. Interesting. Uh, it's uh, probably got less added to it mm -hmm. than we're used to, but yeah. um, we're just, we're fi we found that to be an adjustment that we weren't expecting. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. What are some uh, surprises here about food that you found? Uh, uh, affordability. Affordability. <laughs> yeah, big yeah. time. Yeah. Especially with produce. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, a vendor in La Libertad. He's our favorite guy to go to. His name is Rodrigo. He's sort of our go-to guy. The very first vendor we talked to in El Salvador actually was him. He's just a charming fellow, very friendly, very kind, very patient with our poor Spanish. Uh, and uh, he just was so eager to help and set us up with uh, the produce we were asking for. Uh, and we go there ever since. Every week we go there, sometimes twice a week. And like you can buy a, a, a giant bag of limes for a dollar. Uh, you can get potatoes for... Plantains. Plantains like, are our new favorite Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How, how do you make the plant fried? Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, that which is a local thing, right? Yeah. Fried plantains, and we love that. It's now part of our daily routine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so, as far as that, like groceries in general, mm -hmm. it's not much different than back home. No. Uh, there's a grocery store here, Super Selectos, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and it has all the things you'd expect at a grocery store in the USA or Canada. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can also find sometimes products that are imported indeed from the United yes. States. They're just so expensive. Yes, yeah. yes. That yes, like it's not worth it. So we also mm -hmm. rather, okay, I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah like yeah. A, a jar of peanut butter, yes. natural peanut butter. Yeah. But this size, probably like 10, yeah. $15. Yeah. And, and as a Floridian, that's actually what we are missing here. Yeah. So we found, uh, we actually buy from Jack Tunnel, like sometimes they, they have nuts, mm -hmm. uh, peanuts. Mm -hmm. And we try to blend them and do our own oh, peanut butter. Okay. Is that working? Kind of works. It's not the same as the yeah. industrial one. I guess crunch it with big machines, yeah. but it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's a business right there. Maybe it's a business yeah. idea. We find a decent almond butter at Price Mart. Yeah. So, oh, really? but of course it's not like peanut butter. Yeah. Right. But okay. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah. So guys, uh, let's change topic. All sure. right. A lot of people ask me. What do you do for work there? Where does your income come from? Okay, right. well, so. our income comes from this desk right here. <laughs> this is yep. our workspace for right now. Um, we're looking into getting a couple desks. Uh, we do have another room uh, that's kind of like a spare bedroom right now. 
Uh, eventually, we want to turn it into an office, but for right now, this is this is it. Dining this room is the table. Work. So this is where the magic happens. Yes. At two people in paradise. That's right. It's also where we edit the videos. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're looking at the workstation. Yeah. I mean, I still remember the first time I met you guys at the uh, Bitcoin Beach Meetup in yeah. Azonte. And uh, that was your first week there? Yeah, yeah right? I think so, yeah. Fifth day. Do you guys went from that day, from zero, not knowing where you guys were in this place in the world, to celebrities? Okay. <laughs> was it? I'm not sure we're quite celebrities yet, but uh, yeah, we did come here kind of isolated and alone. Yeah. And now we feel like we have a whole community, much bigger than the community we had in Canada. Um, really, we feel in, yeah. like settled in and rooted. Yeah. yeah. And also, let me add something to that. Like, Salvadorian people are really nice people. They are very welcoming. They're, they will make you feel at home. It's, yeah. it's pretty amazing. We also had incredible experience like you guys with the guy driving you. Yeah, Oscar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oscar, yes. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but uh, so as, in terms of what we do for work, um, we're both contractors. We work online. Mm -hmm. I've got some uh, software development skills. No, I have graphic um, design. Jessica has graphic design, yeah. Uh, we do obviously video editing, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, we put it out there into the internet. Uh, these are the skills that we have. Can we have some work please? And the work comes in and uh, it's worked out very well for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something that we were not sure about when we left. Yeah. Um, I had uh, a remote job, just me at the time, and we were going to ride just that uh, while we set up our life here. It uh, gives you a sense for the urgency we had as far as leaving Canada because yeah. we didn't really get all of our ducks in a row first. We had to make a leap of faith uh, and just ride that one income. Uh, but we knew that we would have to fix that once we got here and start bringing in more mm -hmm. in order to sustain and build the life that we want to have. And yeah. it's worked out just like so many other things beautifully, <laughs> serendipitously. This country seems blessed. <laughs> it is yeah. what it is. I have to say that same kind of things are happening to us. Mm -hmm. Like just uh -huh. lo lots of serendipity and things somehow work out here. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just something. It's, it's, it's just magical. magical. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Just down the hall here, the bathroom's on the right, uh, and this is the master. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing. But nothing it's... fancy. Yeah, this is a traditional Newfoundland quilt. Yep. This was handmade in Newfoundland by my stepmom and my just father. Just a step. Yep. Wow. Stepmom yeah. and father. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this is where we sleep at night. We've got the box fan in the window so we can actually get some sleep because it's quite mm -hmm. warm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? This is Ace's bed. Yeah. Is this a one bedroom or two bedrooms? Two bedrooms. It's two bedroom. Oh. But the other bedroom is mainly storage right now. Okay, yeah. uh, yes. Once we convert it to an office, that'll be an office. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Azix sleeps here with you at night? He does. Yeah. 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 He's part of the family. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and check out the favorite part of the house for Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pool? let's go, yes. The pool, yeah. So here we got this screen from the dollar store. It just hangs in the doorway. So you can leave the door open and keep the bugs out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is Ryan's favorite part, okay. Yeah, it's the pool, it's the yard. Uh, we've got the trees around. Uh, there's banana trees over there on that side. They're hard to see, but um, there's coconuts over there. Uh, for us as Canadians, you know, we're not used to any of that. No. Um, if you have a tree that bears anything, it's typically an apple tree, uh, and those aren't really usable. So <laughs> it's, uh, here it's just so much abundance and life, and to spend our off hours out here in that is really quite a pleasure. Yeah. And of course, on the hot days, uh, the, having the pool to cool off is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I think yeah. something, I don't know, I guess I can, I can speak for you when we say this. Everything grows here. Everything. which is so amazing like we've we've gotten into the habit now like currently we're growing pineapples jalapenos i planted a mandarin tr like mandarin seeds tree, yeah. all along there so oh, okay. we're, yeah. we're really into that kind of stuff and hopefully one day when you know we have a place of our own not you know currently renting but we just want to do an entire just garden grow. of growing yeah. everything yeah it's such a pleasure we have um like pineapples, you just crack the top off, shave it down a little bit, and uh, throw it in the pot. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you've got a pineapple plant that's growing and thriving. Uh, jalapeno seeds we got from Rodrigo out in La Libertad. You scrape them out of the pepper, throw them in the dirt. Next thing you know, you have a plant. You just throw it on the ground and it grows here. It's uh, really very little effort yeah. and it's a fun hobby to yeah. pick up. Yeah. What else do you guys do as a hobby here in uh, San Salvador? What's uh, your favorite activity? Favorite activity? Hmm, wow. 
Yeah, I guess it's making videos, isn't it? Making videos, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When we're not working, that consumes like probably the majority of our time. Editing's yeah. very intensive. Yeah. Uh, and uh, like the response that we get from you guys actually is uh, so just overwhelming. Uh, the kindness, uh, so many are Salvadorans, they're welcoming us to the country. They are saying you guys are Salvadorans now. And you know, for what we went through to leave our country, to hear that is, it's very heartening and it drives us to do more and more and more. So that's really, that's our favorite hobby. It's what we do, yep. is make videos and try to tell the story of this beautiful country. What have you guys uh, visited of the country so far? Did you have time yet to travel? Um, Not as much as we would like. No, yeah, and part of that is the transportation. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Uh, but we're in. But we're in. Things are like I said. Things are happening. Mm -hmm. Things always happen here. Yeah. We went to. I think we went to. A, we went to yeah, a volcano. We, Which one was it? Uh, Izalco. Izalco. Yeah. We yeah. hiked the Izalco volcano. How far is it? Um, from there? Uh, it's uh, Santa Ana way, so oh, okay. a couple hours maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and uh, actually we went up the wrong volcano. Uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we, we were trying to climb the Santa Ana volcano, uh -huh. but we don't speak much Spanish, so we ended up in the wrong tour group, and we ended up on the Izalco tour group, and it turns out that's like the most difficult hike in El Salvador. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, yeah. So we weren't really prepared, but it worked out. Yeah. Uh, we, we did it. We did it, yeah. It was amazing to be at the top and mm -hmm. feel that geothermal energy that will one day be harnessed to mine the Bitcoin. Yes. Um, and actually, on the way down, we got swarmed by bees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, they didn't actually swarm us, but there was like a bee migration happening. Mm -hmm. And um, they flew over our heads by the yeah. tens of thousands. Yeah, and our tour guide was, like, was essentially like, everybody down. Get and down. Get yeah. down, like right now. Because apparently, yeah. like, even if you flinch, flinch like one yeah. bee, the whole swarm would just come after come you. And they can kill you. you and they can yeah. kill you. Yeah. yeah. How long did it last? How long did it take for all the bees to get uh, out of the way? Thirty seconds, seconds to a minute. Yeah. But it was. They yeah. were low. Like we yeah. had to get right down, and low the to the ground. The loud. sound of it. It was oh. loud. It was yeah. terrifying. Actually, yeah. We never heard anything like that before. <laughs> yeah. That's quite an experience. Yeah. yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, and this was part one. We don't want to make this video too long. We're going to keep going with the interview, but the second part of the interview will be on Ryan and Jessica channel. So make sure to check it out so you don't miss it. You will find links in the description. We're going to pin a comment down below with the link to the video. And we're going to try also to put a box in the screen to make it cool and fancy for you guys. With that being said, Thank you guys, we're gonna to go to part two now. Okay, yes, let's go. See you on our channel. Awesome, <laughs> perfect. <laughs>